Hi everyone! This video will help you to learn how to create reports in Sugar CRM Community Edition. Basically, there are six simple steps to create a report. So, in order to create one, we go to report section or report submodule. Um, and then we need to find a plus button and click on create. Um, so, uh, the first step is to select the module, the data from which will be taken to in order to create a report. In our case, this will be leads module. So, let's suppose we need to sort the information by the field date created. So we find such field here in level two filter. Um, and we want to see all the leads that were created during, um, okay, let's say before, before, um, before today. Let it be November the 2nd. So, uh, then we click on next button and uh, proceed to step two. Uh, at this stage, we select display fields. Um, we can define here the columns which will be displayed in our report. So the leads will be sorted by the date created already and now we want to see the leads first name and last name. So we type in name um, in level 2 filter and select first name and last name. Um, besides, we would like to see uh, which user has created which lead. So we need to find the assign to uh, user level one filter and then click on username here. Right now we can proceed further by clicking next. Um, so uh, this is step uh, four, define group by. Uh, and uh, at this step we need to define the group criteria. This means that the information in the reports will be grouped by the conditions we'll choose right now. So it can be by month, year, user, or any other criteria. So, okay, let's say we want to group them by user. And we again find the assigned to user uh, in the level 1 filter. And then username right here in level 2 filter. And move next to defining summaries. Um, you know, it's necessary for financial wrappers sometimes to see some results to compare them using the different kind of summary, uh, like some minimum, maximum, average, will make this report much more representative. But currently, we can um, just click on ID and um, with, the fun uh, with the count function right now. So, uh, finally, uh, we proceed to chart options. This will be columns. And we just need to uh, fill in the report detail, such as report's name. In our case, this will be leads um, for just the, the whole period. And finally, we just click on Save button, wait for a couple of moments, and we'll see the beautiful wrapper build. And by clicking on the column, we can see that Chris has 34 leads. Uh, Max has 57, uh, Sally has 38, as well as Sarah, and Will has only 33 leads. Below there is a table that tells us the first and last name of the lead and those user, the user, pardon, who has, um, who this list has, uh, who this lead has been assigned to. So, that's it. Thank you for watching.